Hello, everyone. How are you today? Um, I get to interview Ryan with the top or the most common questions that are asked about Google My Business today. I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> How are you, Ryan? Doing good. How are you doing, Crystal? Good. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of time, and I'm going to start with my first question. Okay. How much does it cost to use Google My Business? Um, it's free. That's, we like F-R-E-E, -E, right? <laughs> um, so free is, uh, free is good. And that's the beauty of it. I mean, you can actually now though, I, I, I well, I say that just not too long ago, Google, you know, entered the uh, realm of, um, being able to pay to show up on maps with your Google, my business page, um, which, you know, a lot of people are really excited about because, um, you know, getting to that all coveted, you know, three pack or, whatever pack it is, you know, getting on that first page of Google with your Google My Business page on the maps can be very, very lucrative for your business. And, um, you know, to the tune of 100 inbound phone calls for one of our customers, you know, every month. I mean, that, that translates into millions of dollars of business. So, you know, getting on that first page can make a big difference. And, you know, it's, but otherwise, you don't have to pay. You can just set up your Google My Business page um, I recommend that you just look it up. I just actually, in a networking group that I'm in, you know, one of the guys, you know, was like, Google my business page. What is that? How do you do it? I said, just look it up, you know, type it in. It's literally paint by numbers. It's super, super easy. Uh, they make it super easy to set one up. And the, now the next step is though, is how to optimize it. And that's, you know, that, that's the, you know, that's the $10,000 question. And, and the one that everybody's looking to answer. And, and it does take time. You know, if, if you do what other people are not willing to do, then you're going to get results that other people are not going to get. And, and um, we, just, we just make that process easier as a, as a company. We make it so that you can update your Google My Business page much more effectively from your smartphone, <clears throat> add photos, you know, from a text message, et cetera. And um, that does help a lot because when you give Google what it wants, Google gives you what, what you want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, next question. How do we sign up and get verified? Okay. How do you get signed up and get verified? Um, on the, okay. That's a great question. Well, what, okay. So there, there, there is a, um, there is a verification process, but you know, you can just, it's just as simple as, um, uh, and you know, yeah, there's, you got the, about Google my business. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. there's, how does somebody get verified? It's really a pretty simple process. I mean, basically you can get phone verified sometimes very rarely, but most of the time it's going to be a, um, a postcard. And yes. what's going to happen is, is they're going to, they're going to send a postcard to your business, wherever the address is of your business. And um, you've got to, you know, have that code ready, and then you got to log in back into your Google My Business page, and then give the, that code, and then that verifies that you are at that physical address. Otherwise, you would not have been able to receive that postcard. And so that's how Google verifies. Now, there's other directories use different verification processes, but Google is one of the most, you know, stringent. I would say, in that they, they, you know, they want to make sure that you know there's a physical, you know, mailing address you know, that, that, um, that you're, you're verifying by through that process. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Next question, Ryan. <clears throat> okay. How do we find our business online once we're verified? How do you find your business online once you're verified? Yep. Um, you mean, how do you find your Google, my business page? Yeah. Okay. Um, yep. Well, you, you, you can type, there's a, there's a lot of, you just type in the business name and the city and, um, and that's really the most effective way to do it. The business name and the city that that business is in. And that's one of the things that people are, you know, up in arms about is, you know, I don't just serve this one area. I want to show up for more areas. You know, how do I do that? You know, and, and this is the point that we've got to make is, is that, you know, Google is Google. My business is really, a, it's, it's a, it's to serve the local community. It's, it's to make it so that it's easy to find your business when people are local 
And hence, we're getting a lot more searches now of, you know, where it's like, okay, you know, um, attorney near me, you know, whether it's voice search on Alexa or whatever, or Siri. And, um, and it would make sense <laughs> that, you know, more people, are, as more and more people are doing those type of searches, that if you're a business owner, you want to show up for more of those type of, in more areas, you know, when people are in, you know, Palm Beach Gardens and Wellington and Singer Island and, you know, all the different places are, are you know, here in La Jolla and then maybe in Del Mar. So it would, you want to make, obviously as a business owner, if you serve all those areas, you want to show up for all those areas, but it's tough. It's tough sometimes to explain to business owners that, Hey, you really, you know, we can really only control you showing up in, in your specific area that you physically have that office at. Um, outside of that, over time, can you get, can you, you know, gain more real estate? You know, yes, you can. Um, it does. And there's some, there are some strategies around doing that and how to do that. And that's some more that's to be talked about later. That's, that's, an, that's an advanced topic. Yeah. <laughs> Follow we're not us up. On, we're not, you want to, yeah. Call, yeah. Yeah. I'm Follow also including you want to know how to the do link. That. Yeah, to contact yeah. us at, at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing if you have those advanced questions. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <Yep. laughs> the last and final question, Ryan, is how do I flag inappropriate reviews? Oh, that's a, okay. That's a great question. So you got to log into your Google My Business page and yeah. and or Yelp or whatever. Um, if in the same way, just log in, and then there's there's usually a, a uh, console that you go into there. Basically you can, yeah, like Crystal's doing, just log in your Google My Business page and then you go to the review section and then there's a little, literally there's a little flag that you can click on. And then if you flag it though, you've got to identify both on Google My Business and or on Yelp, what the reason is that you're flagging that particular review for and what term of service that flag violates. And a lot of times when you flag, I'd say, Crystal, our success rate is probably what, 30, maybe 30, 40, 50% sometimes, yes. you know, some, somewhere between 30 and 50% mm -hmm. in terms of getting a review removed. Um, that is a bad review. Um, there, there's, if you flag a review and you have a, va <clears throat> a valid reason, especially obviously if it, if it's within the terms of service or if, it, if it's violating the terms of service, then it's going to be removed. It's just sometimes there's some gray area, you know, in terms of a review and whether or not it, you know, it does or does not violate the terms of service or not. And so that's why, you know, even if you think it violates the terms of service, yeah. Google might not think it violates the terms of service. And so, yeah. Yeah. You definitely have to do your homework and your research and provide links and proof in order for yep. a review to be flagged. And sometimes if, if all that research that you've done is still not accepted there, you know, you've got to request a call from Google. <laughs> because yeah. yeah. You've got to move to the next step and, and keep going until you receive an answer. And, and that's the reason why it's so valuable to work with a company like ours that has those contacts at Google and it does this day in and day out. And that's, you know, you know, searching the forums like you are, the, you know, the, the Google forums, you know, yeah. in order to, uh, speaking of that, I just got to notice that, uh, one of our, one of our clients got a five-star review. So that's good. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think the, uh, you know, it, it, it does pay to be in, in it, you know, like you are, yeah. you know, you're mm -hmm. in it, you're, you know, you know, you know, the people on the forums, you're starting to get a name in the forums. Yeah. You know, um, and, and, you know, people know to go to you and, and to ask you questions and, and, you know, to go to certain people to ask them questions when you don't know the answer. And it, if you're a small business owner, you're not going to know where to go in order sure. to get the, the answers to these questions and in order to, you know, get a hold of the right person at Google that can potentially, you know, push that review through or, you know, or, or, or answer your question or, or maybe get a re-review on a, on a review that, that, um, that is questionable as to whether or not it's violating the TOSs or not, you know? So. Yeah, definitely. And it, it, it is 
it's, it's time consuming as well. So as a business owner, you don't really have that time to um, build that connection or that relationship through the forum as well. Yeah. 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 So yeah. <laughs> through my safari, Ryan, those are the top questions that are asked of Google My Business uh, before a, really? um, yeah, before a small business decides to join or participate with Google My Business pages. <laughs> wow. That's, oh, those are, so that's really good to know. I mean, and yeah, if you guys yeah. have any questions about, you know, about this or any, any other topics, I mean, we're coming to you daily in order to give you value. Um, you know, we're going through an outline of topics um, and questions that we have from both our customers and also, you know, from us doing what we call Safari. It's just our way of going to the, the watering holes of, of where the people are going um, and hanging out that, that are, you know, that are business owners in the wild, you know, um, asking questions. And we're just listening and, and seeing what those questions are and providing the answers and, and uh, hopefully you appreciate it. So if you do, you know, share this yep. video, um, mm -hmm. ask some questions, you know, put some comments below, go and, and engage with us. And, and, um, and we'd ask that, uh, yeah, you share this out and let us know what else, what other questions you have. Yeah, we definitely encourage you to tap the link below in the comments, download and read the case study below to learn how a property management company got over 371 reviews on Google, got on the first position on Google Maps, and generated over 103 inbound leads per month from the search engine. Yeah, and, we, and we've got a brand new, a brand, another brand new case study that <clears throat> we just found out about that um, from another Australian client of ours that, yeah, it's really, really exciting. So they're, they've, they're getting, just from reputation management marketing and local search engine optimization, <clears throat> they're generating over seven <clears throat> new doors. We, we work a lot, you know, with property management companies uh, mm -hmm. a lot. And, and um, yeah, it's just really exciting because, I mean, you know, th th that, that number of new doors never is going to go away. I mean, it's only going to grow and that's seven new doors every quarter. So every three months, so about two to three new, you know, new clients for them every single month um, from inbound phone calls. And yeah. those are really fun phone calls to take because there are people calling you. It totally switches the game around, you yeah. know, and typically they're pre-sold, especially if we've done a good job with their reputation, which we did, you know, they are really close to 100, 100 five-star reviews on Google now. And why are they there? Because they just ask for reviews. And they've got a very, a very good strategy and mechanism for getting people to go to where they need to very quickly to leave those reviews. That's the number one challenge and, and one of the big things that we provide, you know, in our system along with our review culture training. That really helps. But um, anyway, awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Crystal. All right, create a great rest of your day, everyone. Thank you.